I think most people start to dream about flying the first time they see a bird. I remember watching birds step off telephone poles, open their wings and fly, and I remember thinking, you know, I want to do that. Jeb Corliss is insane insanely committed to facing his fears. Every single person on this planet has a gift. Some people are incredible singers, some people are incredible dancers. It just so happens that my gift is fear. I selected cliffs that had outs, not building up the precision that I needed, building up the glide angles that I needed. And I started flying through waterfalls and everything. That's when I basically set up one of my friends with some balloons on the edge of this like incredible crack jump where I just could come through, take the balloons out, go into the crack. I was doing things that I could never have imagined doing. Jeb Corliss is practicing for the most dangerous stunt of his life. A friend of mine named Paul Fortune who sent me an email with a photograph of this cave in a mountain that basically runs straight through it. The subject line was very simple. Do you think you can fly a wingsuit through this? There's no way to escape. And that's what makes this one so special and so unique is there's no escape. So you commit and once you enter the cave, you're in it. This is by far the most challenging jump I've ever done. Wow. This is the first time that my mom's ever come on a base jumping expedition. It, it does become a difficulty to step back. I love my mom, I really do. And say, yes, this is your life. I'm willing to sacrifice everything. This place has a lot of power. My whole body started to react and I could feel my whole body cry. When we first started this, I think um, maybe five, ten million people would know about this event. And slowly as this project started to evolve and grow, it was such a snowball effect. We got these numbers that 50 million people are going to see the live broadcast. A professional skydiver, base jumper and wingsuit flyer who's about to attempt a terrifying stunt. The Birdman, who spreads his wings and defies death every time he goes out to work. Please welcome Jeb Corliss. And I was like, 50 million people. And it just turned out like just the, the night before the event, we realized that there were 15 live TV networks covering the event with the estimated UFC of half a billion people. So I think we tapped into something very special. With a dream of human flight. It is not a joke. It is freaking real. Excited beyond compare. I can't even like breathe barely. I'm totally ready for this. Everything I've done, every wingsuit I've flown, every skydive, everything has been in preparation for doing this project. I've never been as stressed out or full of anticipation for anything that I've done as much as I was for him that day. My hands were sweating. I mean, I just, all I was just listening so hard to hear that helicopter. I just kept staring and then, then he was not flying out and I, I realized like now, now there's something wrong. 